Hello guys, love to you and your loved ones. Um, before I get into the actual practical part of the program, I wanted to talk about some general things that you can carry with you from this point on. First of all, this is going to be the last one. We're at the end, and as you'll see, this is graduation day, but the work isn't done. It's just started. Um, where you, for you to clear your bottom three chakras and like I like I will say again just do it at a good time for you you know you know don't wait too long maybe because then you'll forget but when you rub really hard that is do it in a time when you have a little bit of free time just in case you know you might get tension somewhere you might feel bad you might cry you know whatever get bad memories, whatever, but it has to come up to come out, like I always say. Okay, um, now general stuff. This, it's very important to try to be in high vibration for the rest of your life, but also, especially when you're doing clearing exercises and doing spiritual work, a lot of it is very simple, like, if you want to be a spiritual person, just be in a high vibration. That's why you want to get out of your brain, worries, your body, death, which is kundalini. Um, you know, and this, it's a work in progress, of course. Try to just not take life so seriously. Don't take yourself so seriously. You're not a separate human, you know. Your divine spirit just growing, growing into the oneness eventually. And, um,. Yeah, just try to have fun and be lighthearted about life in general, and even the spiritual path. Um, another thing is, oh, okay, so like one way you could do that, which I really highly suggest you practice this very often. Now, one when you're on your own alone, go to a meditative place, and then think of the best one of or one of the best happiest moments of your childhood. And then relive it, go through it, and you'll become happy, hopefully. Like, that's what happens to me. Like, it makes me smile bigger than I normally would ever smile, only when I go back to the childhood my memory. And you should do this maybe in the beginning of the day, I would highly suggest it. And right before you go to sleep, in fact, when you're in bed, going to sleep, go to your happy place, and then you'll dream happy dreams be in a high vibratory state when you dream and you sleep 25 years of your life so it really will help your spiritual practice just by doing that go to a happy place before you sleep um, and including think of all the great things that happened that day don't think about worries of the next day be in the moment think of everything you're grateful for in general as you go to sleep um, if gratitude, of course, is just a huge thing for everything. Give gratitude for everything. Um, when serendipitous things happen, I always do heart breath to the universe and to my spirit guides. <sighs> and give, give love out to the universe, to spirit guides. Um, like when I get number synchronicities, I always heart breath to the numbers and just say, you know, state of being of all state of beings, I love you, and send it out. It's, you know, so yeah, sending love to any, everything, gratitude for everything. Of course, we were, earlier we were talking about relaxation and just trying to be a light-hearted person. Be gentle toward you, for your, to yourself. Very important. Be gentle, loving, sweet, nice to yourself especially when you're doing spiritual work and clearing purification work, very important. Be soft, have, keep your body soft where tension is and in general, keep your kundalini soft energy where the fear is, keep your sacral where the shame and sexual issues are, keep that soft, your solar plexus, fear, insecurity, power issues, keep that soft. Um, if your shoulders are tight, if your hips are tight, try to keep that soft, you know. But it's also a mental thing. It's an intention thing, but also a mental thing. Try to be gentle to yourself in everything. 
don't be hard on yourself you know for anything like if you have to sleep a lot that's good it's clean it's cl it's uh healthy it's and if you have you know what i mean like people will give themselves a hard time because they slept a lot or something like it's ridiculous we're just programmed to be money based to be fear based um including it could be a genetic thing where we've been genetically programmed um, really but other than that we're just programmed by media and society's pressures that are unspoken laws rules that we go by but don't really consciously think of but so just beware of society society the more I honestly the more you break away from mainstream society the healthier you will be mentally physically etc spiritually of course so um, you know alternative media look into that or you know documentaries or stuff like that but anything mainstream even looking at billboards don't look at billboards don't look at commercials if, you know it's up to you but I wouldn't watch like mainstream TV shows mainstream movies in general it's not good for you straight up um, a lot of rules of science that are supposedly solid truth a lot of rules and and paradigms about uh, physics science technology a lot of this is just not true it's just stories that don't help us but help the powers that be so keep that in mind um, ancient wisdom of course ancient cultures spirituality ancient spirituality is a great thing don't think of a spiritual path more importantly a mystical path because religion is kind of to me and what I've studied is the watered-down version the mysticism is the more real teachings secret teachings um, the initiated teachings whether it's um, you know I'm being, being very general but like Tibetan Buddhism es esoteric Buddhism which is like Tantra um, in Japan it's the Shingo um, if you're a uh, Christian look into Gnosticism look into es the Essene E-S-S-E-N-E-S -S -E -S. Um, that's a good place to start uh, if you're Muslim, Sufism, if you're uh, Jewish, Kabbalah, um, Hindu is pretty mystical in general, uh, Shaivism, that's Tantra too, basically. Uh, oh, and shamanism, any kind of shamanism. Uh, you got, of course, the original, supposedly, Siberia, uh, that whole thing. Uh, you know, it, you suppose, well, that's where the word comes from. And then you have Native American shamanism, uh, South American shamanism. Um, you got Tibetan shamanism too, the Bon tradition, uh, African shamanism, uh, the um, Dogon, that's a really good one, D O G O N, uh, Egyptian mysticism which I can't really find too much direct stuff from that but that's one reason I like Tibetan Buddhism because they're very technical about making sure the lineage is kept unbroken um, so that's another reason why I really like Tibetan Buddhism they're very thorough um, and serious about keeping the lineage uh, true to the past <coughs> um, so yeah then don't think of it as a religious path it's more of a just basically like honestly to me spirituality is just the real way to live um, mysticism is just the real way to live oh and you have like um, Wiccan too the Wicca astrology all of that so different kinds of astrology especially ancient astrology uh, so there you go um, now let me talk about like Okay, and the kundalini, when you rub the kundalini really hard and do it at a good time for you. Make sure you're drinking the water, make sure you're diaphragmatically breathing, make sure you're in a good place mentally, you know, high vibratory as much as possible. And be aware of what's gonna happen. I know I keep saying this, but this is this could be serious, like you could get physical reactions, you know, and stuff like that. 
toxins might start coming out and stuff like that. So that's why it's it's serious, you know, potentially. Okay, Kundalini is fear of death. That's probably the biggest one for all of us that we need to overcome. One way you do that is dream yoga, which helps you be become a lucid dreamer, which makes it makes you supposedly the dream state is the, it's the state that you're going to go into after you die which is actually a great opportunity to find enlightenment so death is actually the best chance for us to be enlightened um, after death but also the fear of death stops us from living so the fear of death is just the it's just the the most problematic thing for us humans especially in the West so this is something we need to work on and clearing your kundalini will do that but it's also a psychological thing and I honestly think that it's not the fear of the unknown as well we're fear of death we have a fear of death I think it's because we've died so many times that it's the fear of the known and it's still in us it's still in our body the signature it's still in our air energy field okay so keep that in mind meditation of course uh, what else there's something called chod I think where you have the Tibetan practice where you 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 hit you 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 chop up your body and your mind and like give it give it away or something that just you know so that you're not a body some it's a practice to learn about not being a body now another one that's connected with the Kundalini as well is fear of being broke fear of not having money it's survival which is also connected to the death so this is a really tough one too probably the those two which are interconnected relax like you're not a human you're spiritual you are a divine spirit pretending to be human and learning li learning to grow through this dense material world of course all the material world but this material world is becoming more metaphysical and spiritual and that's why Mandela effect is happening and that sort of thing we're going into a more fluid place not just dense matter money is not a problem it's not your life you know we are we are tricked into thinking that money career is the most important thing in fact we're always worrying about that and then you die and then realize oh I had all of this I had this whole mission that my soul was supposed to do and I was supposed to help people and be a light worker or whatever it is clear my own energies so that I can ascend instead now I died and now I'm in a 3d world again and now I have to go it all over and again and then I forget and then I'm all over again and then I forget so now's the time to just to get that opportunity to ascend especially now that the good I'll talk about this another time but all that we're in that highly charged part of the galaxy a lot of you know okay sacral is the sec is the second one up sexual issues and I don't have conscious memories of this but I was told by a person and my spirit guides that I was sexually abused um, as a little 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 kid and a lot of us have gone through that and when it comes to this fears of death you know fears of being broke fears in general as well as uh, sexual issues let's let's not be ashamed let's not feel guilty let's not feel bad and feel like we're lesser of course that's what that will kind of program our minds to do but it's not a big deal like we will we can zoom out with the fears and the sexual shame zoom out you are a soul experiencing this and this this isn't something that's happening to you you even probably did bad things to others in past lives and this is just a balancing of that so zoom out it's not a big deal no matter what's happening to you know like Christians say uh, you know God would never give you something you couldn't handle and it's true it's because this is part of your soul journey it's integral integrate into <laughs> intricately uh, connected to your past and the present and the future of course it's also sitting this time but you see what I'm saying like just chill like zoom out no matter what's happened to you you can handle it it's part of your soul's journey so that you can grow that's it solar plexus insecurities we have a lot of that the pride is connected with that pride is just the uh, just another thing another side of insecurity okay so keep that in mind too um, 
which I was expressed to me in t tension in my shoulders, the pride and security thing. But um, but anyway, I don't want even want you guys to too much focus on that. But focus on the bottom three. So solar plexus, our power of feeling powerless, um, maybe feeling like we're too powerful too. You know, like there's there needs to be a balance there. Um, and I notice fears do manifest in the solar plexus too. It seems like it starts in the solar plexus and then it stores in the kundalini. That's kind of how I feel like it works. So, um, you know, love yourself, honor yourself, give to yourself spiritually, energetically. Um, oh, and back to the mysticism, a good thing for all of this is for the pride and for the self-centeredness that we have, especially in the West, is devotion. Even if it's just the practice, you don't have to think of this, this deity as real. Just show devotion. Well, first of all, you could show devotion to the universe, to Mother Earth. You know, um, and the Tibetan Buddhists, they do this bowing thing where they go all the way down on the ground. They're literally flat. They're flat on the ground going like this. They get up. First, they do, it's for the brain, mind. Then a second for the throat, speech. And then it's for the body, solar plexus area. And they are um, body speech, I mean mind, speech, and body, and you, it's, just bowing is really good for devotion, because it's not only showing love and gratitude to the universe or to the deity, whatever, it's also just humbling you, humility is huge, you know, I had to really learn that one, and um, that connects you with the universe, you're not a separate, prideful, self-centered being, you are when you're humble and gracious and loving, you start connecting with everything around you. You're, there's no there's no border between you and the everything, you know. So that's important, uh, especially for the West, you know. Uh, this 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 video is going on forever, and there's two more after this um, for the clinical part. And anyway, this is the end. Thank you guys so much. Uh, love to you and your loved ones. Uh, of course, message me if you have any particular questions. Alright, later.